Yo YouTube, Ryan Napton here, and I'm gonna do kind of a day in the life of snowboarding with me. I really don't do those type of things, but uh, I'd like to do more of them, so I'm gonna try one during the spring going to A Basin. And the day for me does not actually start the day of snowboarding, it starts the day before. So no matter when I go, I always got a GoPro with me. So I'm gonna show that, and what I do, I always, the night before, make sure I'm charging everything. So. Here I got my Sennheiser PXE 550 headphones, charging those, charging the GoPro, which came unplugged. So I'm gonna plug that back in here. And I'm charging three batteries, making sure I got plenty of power. Um, using the Sennheiser uh, MKE2 Elements action mic headphone, uh, microphone, so I don't have to, so I can actually get audio for snowboarding. And you know, just shots like this. Yeah, you still never be able to do video shots like this. This is with a camera, but it won't work with the GoPro. Um, but uh, so, yep, charging that. I'm not even planning on meeting anyone, but just in case, I'm getting the gimbal batteries ready, the Zhiyun Crane M. Um, so yeah, the day before starts with just charging stuff. All right, 7 a.m., ready to rock. Uh, before shredding, I always kind of do some squats, get the legs moving and warmed up a little bit and got a drive to do so i'll do more when once i'm there and uh yeah what's up with the tank top so uh yeah it's super it's spring but i wear this all year uh basically i wear a trip double or a triple or quadruple extra large and it basically goes down to my knees and it basically you know it just never get it never it's so long that i never have it pull out and then get snow on my back so I highly recommend doing the same. Uh, super, super extra long, very first layer, whether it be a tank top or or a regular uh, under layer. So yeah, let's drive up Day Basin. Coming up on uh, exit 254, such a good view. Oh, you cross this bridge, see the mountains up ahead. Just got past Loveland, the top of Loveland Pass, and there's snow on the road. Look at all the snow on the bank still. Snow on the road. And uh, yeah, just beautiful, beautiful. All right, 8.15 in the morning at A Basin. They don't open till nine, but uh, I like to uh, get here early. I basically always like to get to the mountain super early and just take it slow and casual and do some squats and kind of just get my legs warmed up so that I'm ready to rock right when the lifts open. And uh, yeah, just freaking beautiful out here. And I also like getting to A Basin especially early because uh, cause then you get to park in this lower lot. If you get here later, you have to park in one of the upper lots and do a little, uh, a little further walk. It ain't bad or anything, but uh, I prefer the lower lot, especially for the end of the day. I don't want to trudge through the muddy parking lot that happens here. Let's get warmed up, stretch out, apply, uh, apply a ton of sunblock, and uh, yeah, that's my tips for A Basin. Tons of sunblock. Yeah, probably will uh, be seeing some people today that I recognize, and here's the first guy. So, what's happening? How you doing? Doing good. Cool. It's Looks nice. good, huh? It's perfect. Yeah, it's opening in about 10 minutes, so just tightening the boots down, and yeah, we'll see you in a little bit. Here's a couple other people that I recognize. How you doing, Everett? Hey, Ryan. How you doing, man? <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. Everett and Hillary. Hey. All right, up one lift and one more lift to go to get to the top. Uh, first lap of the day, I really like going all the way to the top just to see what the conditions are like on that upper part versus the lower part, and then whatever's better first thing in the morning, that's why I'll lap for a while. Today's experiment, using some heavy duty vinyl on my arm, uh, some marine type stuff. I don't know, we'll see if it slides, but uh, yeah. So Ryan, he is uh, first year shredding other than some, a couple days in the 90s, I guess. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so he's on day 55 of basically, essentially his first year snowboarding. And he is on a Donic extra wide, kind of like mine, uh, 29 centimeter waist, is that right? Yeah, 29. And uh, 8.7 meter radius? I believe so. And uh, yeah, he makes some pretty good turns for day 55 of his first year. So we're gonna have to tape a couple. Let's go make some turns. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, that'll get the adrenaline going. <laughs> Such good conditions, but I messed up. I did not wax, have not waxed for a while, and it's winter conditions again. Oh, I messed up. Board is slow. Let's tape Ryan. Just did a top to bottom, and uh, I think I thought the top the snow at top was a little bit better. The uh, lower lift is a high speed lift, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, the snow is better up there, so gonna remain up there for the rest of the day. Uh, conversely, say if it's later or when conditions are maybe icy up there, then it can be good to ride the bottom part for a while and then get the top once it starts to soften up up there. But uh, yep, all about the top today. All right, YouTube viewers, so I didn't mention it, but it is May 24th. Insanely good conditions for May 24th. It snowed a bit last, uh, last, late last week, so it's, uh, yeah, it snowed quite a bit, actually. And yeah, uh, freaking amazing. Uh, it's gonna get warm and sloppy and icy very soon. Probably this weekend it'll already be, you know, getting a lot worse, but as of today, pretty freaking good. So uh, speaking of YouTube viewers, I know y'all love the side slipping. Ryan, would you join me for some side slip in this Absolutely. run? Let's do some slipping. All right, just made a turn and got recognized. Guess a YouTube Jose. subscriber? Yeah, I was a subscriber, man. I'm What's your name? Where are you from? Jose, man. I live up in Denver, man. Jose from Denver. Yeah. Very cool. Pretty good conditions for May 24th, huh? Absolutely, brother. Hey, Jose. Yes, sir. Let's make some turns. Yeah, let's do it. Let's <laughs> do it. Everything that you teach, bro, is fucking awesome. Cool. Thank you for the kind words. Hey, brother. We're going to head up to... Uh... A little bit of uh, my average day. You're a subscriber, I take it? Yeah, oh, yeah subscriber. You know it already. Oh, right getting recognized again. What's your name? Where are you guys from? Alex, um, I met you last year here, uh, closing weekend here. Oh. And then I moved to Denver. So I was from SoCal before. Very cool. New Pretty York. damn good conditions for May, huh? Oh, yeah. Perfect. New York, SoCal, now here. What was your name again? Jake. Oh, yeah. Bumpy run out. Yeah, it's hard to land. Yeah. yeah, you blasted that one. Yeah. I wish it was just a smooth run out. All right, here with Everett. He's a professional racer, does the North American Cup. And uh, yeah, he's on the Donick, which is labeled a, the secret. 
Yeah, um, secret. We don't know. So it's, that's not the name for it, but that's it's just labeled. It's, it's labeled secret. secret. Yeah, Sean Roach secret right now. What do you think of it? I'm loving it. It's um, basically what we're trying to do is have a more even flex pattern for the slalom board. Um, without getting too technical, the idea is just to have the board bend around evenly. And with slalom, you know, it's all about rounded turns these days. Um, so if you can round it and have energy rebound, then that's the key. The other thing about this board that's uh, interesting or, or that we've been experimenting with is it's non-metal. We're, we're making boards without titanium, race boards. Um, you know, it's, it, people haven't done that since the 90s. And I gotta tell you, having raced on it all season, it works. I, I didn't know going into it whether or not it would work, and right away I loved it. My GS board, I probably had 80 days on it, um, and it's fantastic. I was just riding it early. Oh. So, so we're making slalom boards that are non-metal awesome. So that's, that's what these boards are. Well, let's make some turns. Yeah. Or side let's, slip. Let's do it. Um, and check it out. I have terrible wax on. You live pretty close to Kristen. <laughs> I have terrible, like I don't have any wax. It's just completely gone. <laughs> Would I be able to wax at your house? Because I don't want to drive the breath. Yeah, 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 of course, man. Oh, going to get some wax. <laughs> Hey, hey, Pete! How you doing, man? You're on skis. I'm fixing it up, fixing it up. How's the season working for you? <laughs> Pretty good, how you doing? Excellent. <laughs> Getting recognized by skiers, but normally you're on a board. Well, no, I saw you. I saw you. How you doing, man? Good. Good to see you. Can you? Another guy on a duck. Here with Dennis, he's on a Donick uh, Rev. Is that right? Slalom board, yeah. Rev slalom board. And yeah, he works uh, 8, 8 p.m. to 6.30 in the morning, then comes shredding at A-Basin. Out here quite often, so if you're at A-Basin, might see Dennis. If it turns on alpine boards or uh, soft, bo soft boots on other days. Sometimes I'll even ski. Sometimes he even skis. Oh, he's out of the bed. <laughs> see my buddy Joel, we'll go, uh, Go take a lap on this. Say hi to Joel. Best hey, lift he ever. Hey, best lift hey, ever. This, is, uh, this is a beginner <laughs> lift, but since you're an uh, advanced beginner, we'll A very you. advanced beginner. How right. are conditions at top? Well, you know, there's some hiking. There's some good power out there if you some hike good a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to go get some power. Go get some power. power. All right, here at the top of the bunny hill. I'm not sure if I can get enough speed to even make a good turn, so I'll try to do something to make it worthwhile. Falling on the bunny hill, what a nerd. Ah. Pretty nice out at least today. Hopefully no one saw me fall. Oh, so beautiful out here. Lately I've been riding until about 2.30, but today it's 12.30 and I'm gonna hit it just because my board situation, the wax is just bad, it's all scraped off and yeah, it's just my board's not even moving. So it's kind of taking the fun out of riding because I can't even get enough speed to make turns. Ooh, a little speed. All right, so that's kind of a typical spring day at A Basin. Pretty good. They opened, reopened the pally lift that was closed for a while, and uh, enough snow, so they reopened it. Um, yeah, good stuff out here at A Basin. Not bad for late. Since we're right here, might as well pull over at the top of Loveland Pass and check out the gorgeous scenery. I think it's 
too far away, but there are some snowboarders way over there. About to drop down. Pretty darn good views, huh? I don't think I don't think you can get sick of views like that. Alright, back home and before I start transferring the files over to the computer and editing, key, very important, is unrolling the pants because they are all wet and uh, not letting them rot. I definitely have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of days on these pants. They are obviously, yeah, I'm ready for some new ones. I have some new ones I wear when I want the footage to look cleaner, but uh, yeah, get, get those, don't leave them wet, and that'll uh, definitely make your pants last longer. And same with your boots, just get them in the sun or in front of a fan so that they don't get all gnarly and they'll last a lot longer and smell a lot better. All right, heading over to Everett's to wax up my board. But uh, yeah, I want to show you something that I haven't talked about yet, but I will be doing a full review soon enough. Got a new board and uh, testing it out for next year's. So, uh, but yeah, I wanted bigger turns, so I went with a bigger radius. So you might notice that in some of the videos. It definitely takes some getting used to when you go to bigger radiuses. So I'll talk about that extensively in some future videos. So just because I'm on a bigger radius doesn't mean a lot A lot of people wouldn't like it just because it does take, uh, you know, you have to do some different things to make the board turn uh, how you want it to. And sometimes it's not going to, It's you know, it's a bigger carved turn. So it really does perform quite a bit different. But check out the specs. Model, Napton, 160. 12 meter side cut with a 31.2 waist. But yeah, I'm stoked. I think this was the first board where my name was actually put on it. I'm pretty happy about it. Here over at Everett's, we're gonna get a little tech with the waxing rather than just uh, applying it and scraping it like I normally do. I guess we're gonna use some brushes, give it some texture, and clean out the dirt and yeah, kind of get tech with it. Getting friction. That friction melts snow for a fraction of a second and it turns into water. Water has nowhere to go, it beads up. And so you end up hydroplaning over the snow. You're riding water, you're not riding on the snow. Well, what structure does is all these little grooves will dissipate that water and it gives it a place to go. It's kind of like your tires having grooves in them to allow water to get out. The brass. Brass. Brushing with brass. And you can see the structure starting to come out again. And that's, that's what you know we want to get. We want to get back to that nice structure because that, that structure is going to feed away the water. That's what's going to make you fast. All right, going to be a hell of a lot faster tomorrow. Everett, thank you so much. Of course. Always happy to help.